Yo, 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 what's up? This is Jeremy from JG Innovation, Go to the beach, capital of the state. All right, check this out. Uh, had some folks ask me about gun setup and some little, little odd and end things. Um, had a few guys ask me, you know, what I do a tech video. Um, could I do this? Could I do that? So I'll tell you what I'm going to do, fellas. See how this works out. See how this works out. I'm going to do Tech Tuesday. Try to keep it under 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Once you get too far, people lose interest and they don't want to watch nothing. So we'll try to keep this simple to the basics and we'll go from there. All right, you got two different types of guns. You got a, or excuse me, you got three different types of guns. You got a, guns that are compliant and you have HVLP and then you have RP. All right, this is a HVLP, high volume, low pressure. This right here is a RP, all right? This means reduced pressure, all right? This is a 1.3 1. 1 SOTA 5000. This is what I use for clear. This right here is what I use for sealer, all right? It's a uh, 1.3, all right? And then I have another one, a 1. 1.2 that I use for base, all right? Then you have a mini jet, all right? And also, you got a supernova. And I got another supernova. And I got another supernova. All right. So uh, you got gun, different guns for different things. Um, sun's from water, sun's for that. And I have the primer gun, HVL. This is a, R, this is a uh, 100 BP 2.5. That's my primer gun. And then I have my flake gun, which is a 2.2. All right. So we're going to talk about the SADA 5000. HVLP, all right? So this is what we're gonna talk about, all right? So basic gun setup, all right? You got your fan adjustment, this adjusts your fan, all right? This is your fluid screw, screw all this, up, this all the way in, it chokes off the canal, you can't get no fluid. You run it all the way out, you full throttle, all right? This is your nozzle, or excuse me, this is your cap, this is your nozzle, all right? This is your airflow, all right? You got a solder without an Atom 2 docking station, it's going to look like that, okay? Same concept, different application. I got an Atom 2 docking station. It pops off just like this right here, like that, and I can put it on different guns, all right? And then I adjust it by the wings, all right? So that's that. So to take a gun apart, you can have a gun tool, all right? Everybody has the tool, all right? Here's the tool, all right? This is what you use. You don't use adjustable wrench. You don't use a box in wrench. This is what you use, the tool, all right? You go to Harbor Freight and buy all their brushes, okay? Get all their brushes, uh, their toothbrushes. Um, get, get, get them all, okay? Get you some gun cleaner, okay? Some 3M gun cleaner. Um, I think it's like $6 a can. So this is the way this works. Take the gun apart, take the cap, take the the nozzle off or the cap off. Keep I don't know why I want to keep going. Take the tool. Take your nozzle out. Don't drop it. There's your needle. Okay? I'm turning the gun up like this. Take it off. Make sure you don't drop the spring. Take the cap off. Pull the spring off. Pull the needle out. Okay? That's that part. You got one more piece. Alright? Take this off. Alright? If you're running a Gen 1 PPS cups, it's a 40 for the SADA. If you're using a Gen 2, it's the 40. If you're using a SADA cup, you don't even use this, all right? That's pretty much your gun took apart, okay? That's as far as you wanna go. You got a high flow fitting. There's no regulator. There's nothing between here and there. There's nothing, all right? So you make sure all your ends are clean. You make sure all this is clean. Once all that's clean, and you put it to the side, you make sure your nozzle's clean, make sure all your little ports are clean, make sure all that's clean, you set that to the side. You clean your cap, make sure all your little holes are cleaned up, look up at the light, make sure they're clean. If not, they got the most small bristle brushes, clean all those ports out. Make sure your needle's not damaged, bent, burred on the end. Do not take sandpaper to this to clean this. This needle and this are a perfect match. If you sand on this and make this or drop this or dent that on end, it's gonna make it spray funny, all right? Here's the spring and there's the cap, 
all right once you get it all cleaned up it's a good thing to get an air nozzle in your booth in your mixing room and blow out all your parts okay blow them all out blow everything out clean 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 all right i put it back together don't soak these in thinner because what happens is these seals get hard and dry rot and they 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 deteriorate and they break and you buy them some soda they come in a pack of 10 and they're expensive all right so there you go you got that you got your cap on there or you got your nozzle your nozzle on there hand tight put your wrench on there and give it a good make sure it's good tight a lot of guys say hey man my gun's fluttered your nozzle's not tight. It's sucking in air around and it's, it's losing it. All right, so you got your cap on, all right? Don't put your needle on and screw that all the way in and then put your cap on because you're going to bust the end of it. Put your cap on first, all right? Then turn the gun up. Put a couple little drops of uh, air gun oil on there. Just a couple drops. Mine's already been done, so drop it in there. Give it a free spin. Make sure ain't nothing bothering and binding up. You got that in there drop your spring in take your cap put your cap on there push down get it started that's that take your nozzle I mean, excuse me. god nice. take your cap put your cap on there spin it around make sure the words is facing upwards not down if they're facing down it's going to spray wrong it makes a difference make sure your horns are straight across take you PPS adapter if you're using it put it in there take your tool put the tool on there and you're done all right adjust your skirt to, mm, to adjust everything all right run run your fluid screw all the way in all right this is what I this is what I show my students at the college run the screw all the way in all right there's no fluid coming out take this son of a gun and run it out one and a half rounds and on the back side you see that notch so you go and it's facing like at one o'clock. So go one o'clock down the down to the six and lock it down. That's a good starting point. Or you pull the trigger, run it in until it bumps the trigger, then back it off an eighth of a turn and lock it down. That's about mediocre. If you want full throttle, you run that sun gun all the way out until it bumps the trigger and then turn it two rounds and lock it. That's just about full tilt, all right? Now let me show you something, how to adjust your fan. This is just regular water, all right? You notice I have no regulator whatsoever on this, none. Before I had all my water trap stuff and everything going on, I did run that little, that little ball, this little ball right here. I run one of these little balls, all right? Here's the thing, fellas, if you're running these little balls here, these little uh, air conditioning, but this water discussant bags, you don't take this off and seal both ends and this thing's, and you just go in there and hang your gun, that sun gun is just constantly sucking moisture. It's just constantly sucking. So if you're not taking this off the gun and taping both ends up so moisture's not getting in there, then why in the crap are you even wasting your money? You're just toting around a boat anchor on the end of it. It ain't doing nothing. It's not doing anything, all right? It's like a pocket on your sleeve. It's there, but it's no use. All right? Let's use back in the Navy day, but they used to put their cigarettes and roll them up in their arms like that. So that's a different thing. All right. So got it like this right here. We hit that nine minute mark. All right. So remember, this is your fan. Okay? So how much air do you spray, Jay? Well, depends on what it is. If it's sealer, base coat, stuff like that, it's around 28 PSI. All right, well, how do you adjust your gun because you don't have no regulator? Well, I had this Adam II docking station, all right? So here's the thing. The air pressure on my wall, which is on the other side of the booth, which is, say, this is 8 foot, and that's 24. So that's 24 to 5 to 6 to 7 or 8 to 9, 30 to 1. So 32 foot over there, my air regulator is set up to 58 PSI. Good God, Jay, that's a lot of air, but watch this. When you boys set up your guns and you're like, okay, and you pull your trigger and you set your guns up and you're like, okay, I want to spray it. I want to spray it 25 PSI or 28 PSI, right? And I set my gun up, right? And then I go set this up at 28 and then I go to pull. It dropped down to 20, 
drops down. It's not 28. So you're not actually spraying product at 28. You're just spraying air. So when you pull, pull full tilt, it ain't right. All right. So what I do is I pull full trigger, right? And I set it to where I want to be at. I want, I'm at 30 PSI. Right? Right at, right at 30 PSI. What am I at the wall? 58. Now watch this. Full pull. Watch. 30. See how much it dropped? That's how much it dropped. From here to here, that's how much it dropped. That's how much it... If you boys are choking it down right here, I don't, it, it's not doing no good. All right, so look. This, this is that, and that's the fan. So to adjust your fan is this screw right here. I like solder because I can run it with my thumb. Watch this. So look, check this out. So you get it where you want it. You want it about nine inches out and about nine inches this way. So that right there is a good pattern, okay? To get it full tilt, you know, I'm full throttle right now. Let's run it back in. We'll turn it back out. All right, so that's one and a half and lock it down. All right, that, that, that's good right there. That's, that's good, that's, but now this is just water. It's just regular water. All right, so when you're spraying, nice even coats. Um, I spray water and solvent. Water, you gotta be 75% overlap. Water, uh, solvent, you gotta be 50% overlap. Waterborne is 75% overlap. Then when you spray your clear, you do your first coat 50% overlap, and then you do your second coat 75% overlap. So what I do, I just run everything 75% overlap so I don't have to try to remember what am I spraying today and just roll from there. So um, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you'll turn these guns upside down and pull the trigger, it'll vacuum everything out and do that and come out. And I did a video on cups. I'm not going to do more on that. But when you guys fill up your cups, don't fill them all the way up to that line. That line is designated for that line, that lid to snap and spin. See, if you fill it all the way up past that, then you stick in there, you're going to bust fluid out, and then it's not going to lock. So here's the thing. Once you get your cup in there like that, you put it and listen. Snaps, spin it a couple times, and then pick it up. Now you're good and solid. See that? Now you're good and solid. All right? That's just regular water. All right, I'm at the 13-minute mark. I hope that helped some people out. Um, if it did, great. If it didn't, I'm sorry. If there's anything you else you want to talk about or want to talk anything about, uh, I'm going to try to do Tech Tuesday every Tuesday, and I'll post it to the Facebook page and to the YouTube channel. Give me a like, give me a share, give me a follow. Um, share it out. If there's anything you want to know or uh, how to do anything or some kind of tech, uh, if I have to keep it under the 15 minute mark and I do several different segments, I will. I don't mind helping people out because um, nobody helped me out in the beginning. I fought tooth and nail. Uh, everything, everybody thought it was a trade secret. But here's the thing. If you don't share what you know to somebody when you die and go to be with the good Lord in the pearly gates, guess what? Everything that you absorbed your whole entire life like SpongeBob is gone. So pay attention. And be kind to folks. It don't cost a dime to be kind. And remember what I say. Don't worry about what the man down the road is doing. Don't worry about what the man up the road is doing. Sweep off your own front porch before you worry about sweeping off somebody else's. Put God first and let loose in drag. Peace, love, and chicken grease. I'm out.